faction has joined our forces in the War Council. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Game Designer Plays StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, I think, Part 6. I thought I'd get a short one in before going to bed on this Wednesday evening. Uh, I think this is kind of where we left off. I think we may have... I your plan is to bind these yes, I think we've seen this conversation already. They will be allowed their... Oh, this... I... We... I... They yes, will... we've been through this one. So, uh, let's check out some of the new conversations. I haven't seen yet. What's Forazum got to say? Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, <laughs> Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here hmm. when it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down. They became a symbol of achievement but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Yeah. What to say? Uh... There has to be an element in all of sci-fi that is a little bit moralizing with regards to technological progress. Like, ooh, be careful, sometimes progress can kill people. Yeah, if that's what you're researching, yes, this will happen. Achievement unlocked. Let's see, what's new here? We have received new robotic siege technology. Ooh. Please make your selection. I have new stuff. New Taldarine robotics have been constructed based on Alarax specifications. Let's go. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. Let us hope. So what does this do? Boosts attack ranger friendly units, force field blocks enemy ground movement. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I mean I <laughs> I just think the default sentry is just way too badass still. Okay, what do we have? Um, Colossus or Reavers? Colossus, pretty good. Up and down cliffs, so on, yeah. Very good. Reavers, also pretty awesome. Uh, yes. Oh, that's splash damage. Still, I'm more used to using the Colossi, so I think I'll, I'll stick with them. Cool, alright. Anything at the solar core? Anything to update? Oh, Carax. Your plan worked, Carax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. But first, we must if talk. We bring Cybros online. The battle station should begin to defend itself. Yay! The purifiers. They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. If we failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix. I share your belief. Oh. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment, or the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in... And that is why the purifiers must be without freedom. A people can be... This is true. And yet, the firstborn have ill need of another. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult. But it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. You guys, this is the scene in Lord of the Rings where Aragorn and the guys need to go and get the ghost army. Right? I don't mean to be overbearing with all the analogies to other stuff, but this is exactly that scene, right? They need to go and find the people in the mountain. Just can't be unthunk. Now you know. Ooh, 
Starting supply, I can add starting supply. Shield recharge, awesome. More starting supply. Surprise! Okay. Cool. And back to the bridge. And into the mission we go. Yes. Do the thing. With the stasis grid down, the Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the purifiers. Null circuits. Are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. The word. Launch. Let's reclaim. But first, let's load. Oh, hashtag, not all enemies need to be destroyed to complete your mission. Focus on important targets to preserve your forces. Fair enough. My OCD doesn't think so, but I understand. Hmm. These Zerg are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying the hives. Mm, hives. With the aid of the purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct Ooh, quadrants. Multiple objectives it's again. By three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. Really? You destroy something and then you restore. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. We need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyrus falls as well. Mm. Okay. Okay, I have some time to build probes while I'm getting more exposition thrown at me. So we have null circuits. You should try to locate the null circuits as soon as it is safe to do so, Hyrock. There we go, ramp down. Stuff over there. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. Oh, that sounds good. First building, Dark Shrine. Purifier core matrix, where is that again? Are they going to... Oh, okay, that is the thing, right. Okay. Okay, let's build some pylons. Cool. What units do I have? Two zealots and an immortal. That's not a lot. Need a robotics bay. It will happen eventually. Cool. Five, five. Uh, let's get another one of those. Okay. Let's hope this is not too difficult to mission. It's been a few hard ones so far. Not super duper hard, but you know, hard enough to make a guy sweat a bit. And make it difficult to also get like all the optional stuff. It's good to give you like about a couple of minutes, three minutes maybe, to get your bearings and understand what's going on in a given level, and then you know. Some sort of pressure is applied to you. Yeah, here we go. Yes, and this first one is going to be just laughably easy, but it's there to just teach me a lesson or something. So, when does it make sense to get more gases? Go. 
see, first one, super duper simple. Uh, so what do I need? Cyber core. Let's get one of those. I do like cybernetic cores. Yes, that, and I think another one of those shield thingamajigs. Yes. And I think we have pretty good defense by then. Will do. Purifiers will attack the Zerg and slow their attacks upon the core. That sounds about right. Okay, let's see if we have enough to just get this first one. There's one null circuit. There, a null circuit. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. Phoenix, do the thing. I'm detecting the purifier awakening on its own. Oh boy. Its solarite memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. We should disable it. At least we can put its solarite to use. Oh boy. So purifier wardens need to get killed. Like all of them or just some of them? Uh, we'll see. Oh boy. Okay, let's move back. No! Don't kill my cannon thingy! No, they killed it! Just a little bit too late. Oh boy. Oh well. Okay, what else do we do? Let us... Maybe... Add some more gateways, I think that's a good idea. And I one of those here. They know our battle plan? Because I don't. Oh yeah, more of those. East, huh? Through our nexus point that way. Uh, sounds about right. Oh boy. The core matrix is under attack. It must not fall. It'll be okay, I'm sure. Yeah. Cool. I guess I need a bulkhead in that direction as well. God, they're really throwing me a lot of difficult things. Okay, so what about maybe getting some Dragoons in here? Okay, and also... Cool, this should be about enough. Got the reinforcing, that's a problem. Put on one of these for pylons and get some more sentries. I'm gonna need Colossi. energy to use Phoenix, you should probably just use Phoenix. Energy 
flow increasing exponentially. It's working. The purifiers are activating. Okay. I hope this is a good thing. I am Executor Clonarkin. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Clonarkin, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Seize your adulation. Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire, and yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes, to take up your ancient... So it's kind of the other way around. He is kind of begging forgiveness instead of offering it like Aragorn did. But it's basically the same shit. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Okay. Advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, splitting up. Not so good. See about that optional objective too. I need more soul rights. Does that do anything? No. Oh. Oh well. They're kicking a lot of ass without my help actually, so I'm not really sure I need to do anything over here. Oh, he's got his own little sentry type things. Of course, yeah, that's gonna help him. That they seem to just be handling stuff on their own. That's pretty brilliant. Oh boy, messy. These are not really doing anything now, or I don't know what is there like roll over and done with. Either way, that was pretty badass. They just do a lot of cool shit. No. Ah. Do stuff. It's only someone to go around and grab stuff. That's cool. That should be Q. Should handle itself from now on. Uh, leave three hundred minerals.
Hey, maybe that's the idea. Maybe. I really need to expand over here. Oh, see if I can take that thing out as quickly as possible so my DTs can get free reign, basically. Yes! Yes, kill everything. Oh, the Colossi are so cool in the campaign. They just wreck everything. Okay, what's up here? Good thing I can expand anyway. I was wondering if I was ever gonna have enough money to actually do all the things that I want to do. Oh, I did not actually. I should probably put this there. Oh, I'm losing DTs. Imagine that. Phoenix, go. Do the thing. Yes. Get that thing. Everything else is fine. Are there enemies here? It would seem like it. Okay, let's see about expanding our defensive grid so that that angle is covered as well. And um, you have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Eternally, our day will come. Okay. So we're basically just scouring the map looking for stuff to destroy. That's alright. I don't mind. Yeah, I think I need to be substantially faster and more assertive and aggressive about this because it's just like a war of attrition here and I can't really win it. Oh wow, it's just a lot of links just sitting around there for some reason. Okay. more anti-air again. Oh, the infinite DTs. For the love of Christ, that is so awesome. It's about getting some more of these free resources. No circuits destroyed. Station at half power. Our revenge is at hand. And our base, the core matrix, is under attack. It must not fall. Phoenix, do stuff. 
Purifiers. Our home is under assault by alien forces. Move out and eliminate them. Yes, Pinsir. Alright, let's follow these guys. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to kill. Oh, there's so much splash damage going on. It's not even funny. Yeah, as soon as these purifier guys are uh, unleashed, so to speak. There's nothing more to be done. Might as well just go back. They can they can handle their own shit. Go over here. Yeah, I thought the Zerg might do this. Oh, I never did fortify that, did I? But I shall. Oh, yes. Yes, that's cool. All fine and good. Because I'm going to need that. Yeah, there you go. They're just leaving. It's not really justified in the fiction at all, is it? Oh boy. Um. Alrighty. Let's build another base. I feel I'm okay for resources now, but you know. I can scarcely have enough. Oh boy. They're coming around that way for some reason. Where are they going to hit? Are they going to hit where my pylon is? Yes, they are. Let's see how well Phoenix can handle stuff on his own. Well, actually, not that well. He's not, like, immortal or anything. He's just really, really tough. Is he immortal? I mean, what's up with this? Huh. I guess worrying about him was not necessary. Okay, let's see about maybe uh, Oh, okay, that was bad. Let's see, soon enough this guy should be able to put down a... Yeah, just let's wait for the creep to recede a little bit. Put down a pylon. And... More... Yeah, more of everything, actually. Okay, so the creep should be mostly gone by now. Just give me enough minerals. Oh, the purifier core matrix did take some damage before I recall, but it's actually healed itself. So, yay. I suppose. Okay. And let's build these. Down another pylon, maybe. These. Maybe another one later. Come on. Ah, mineral field depleted. I have no choice but to assume that was over there, so let's send some of these guys. No, let's go over here.
Yeah, simple enough mission, not to say it's super easy, because, you know, there's you have to be of, um, aware of multiple fronts and stuff like that, but that's not really anything new. I'm not really sure, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what is new about this mission? Because they're usually really good about splitting up their missions into, like, concepts, like teaching you new concepts with every new mission, and so on. Uh, but I struggle to figure out what new concepts are actually being taught in this one. Oh boy. Let's see about forward pylon, maybe. Possible. Over there, cool. God, they've got a lot of stuff here. Oh boy. Prejudice is the best prejudice. You can't go, you know, light on the prejudice. I think you just, you know, you're not going to accomplish anything. Oh boy. Okay, let's transition over there. Q. Gosh. They're just walking through everything. It's not even funny. Okay. More Vespian Geyser. I'm guessing there's going to be another place to expand here. Yes, there will be. Cool. Oh boy. Ugh, that was close. As probe transfers go, that was probably not the safest. Path, but I had no idea there was an infester there just waiting to fungal everything. Oh, scourges! Look at that. They still exist. It's like they made all the brood war units in here. Yes, kill everything. Cool. Yeah, I have a hard time seeing how we can die anymore. Though, this guy has some work to do. Oh god, there's a lot of cleaning. This poor probe is like Deuce Bigelow's dad. Clean toilets and stuff. Yay for static defense! A for excessive static defense. And death. Yeah, I think from this point on I kind of feel like I can brute force almost everything. Oh 
Yeah. A reinforcement path is right through here, so I can just keep F2ing, to be honest. Oh, splitting up the army is not so good. And there we go, support our goons. Anything over here? No. Okay. Seem like it. So let's just go up here. See if we can get that. Yeah, at this point it's pretty straightforward. I barely even know where they can attack from anymore. Drop the Phoenix. Great. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Cybros does sound like something you should, you should probably see a gynecologist over. The core is activated. It's going to fire. Oh no, plot twist. What are you commencing purification? Cutscene. But what are you gonna purify? Ominous music is ominous. Ooh. It's very Independence Day. disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't tase me, Cybros. That's fun. Verification, power rolling. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, now what's gonna happen? Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the Purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. 
Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. Now I'm confused. Is it the ghosts or is it like Entmoot? They are deliberating. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a mix. It's like Entmoot plus the ghosts, and he he's gonna come back and say, "We will fight" we or something. To follow, we would ask the entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch. The purifiers shall join the firstborn. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. Ooh. You can review it in the solar core now. I am a big fan of subs. I can talk to myself now. Just we have come oh. far from okay. a race on the brink of extinction, but it is not over yet. Oh, indeed not. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for slain. The purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Taldarim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. Yeah. I actually quite do too. I think he's one of the funner characters. There needs to be someone kind of evil around, otherwise, otherwise it's no fun. Okay, War Council. Yes, Rohana, tell me stuff. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. Mm. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. So, he's a pissed off child. Alright. I can deal with those. Have joined our army, Ooh. It seems they are willing to serve you for now. So, new type of phoenix. I answer the call. Hmm. They okay? They can become incorporated to not take damage and I don't use these things that much but when I do I'd rather have them be kind of tanky so that sounds that sounds good actually it's the only thing that actually changed I believe cool okay sounds good solar core what's up oh you're gonna be speaking in the royal we now I've been analyzing the purifier bodies on mass. Mm. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Kara? Yes, me dumb. Their data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, so they basically have Wi-Fi and they're connected to each other. This doesn't really sound that sci-fi, but... We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Oh. Phoenix, I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. 
Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you... Oh yeah, he's his name. totally keeping it. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. Sure. But, you know, only after the game is over, because, you know, we have a lot of captions written that say Phoenix, colon, and, you know, this was an optional dialogue, so you can't just start calling yourself, I don't know, Ted, all of a sudden. Ooh, I have more soul right. Matrix Overload. All friendly units gain a 25%. Yeah, it's a passive, okay. Uh, within a power field, okay. Guardian Shell. Friendly units become invulnerable. Five seconds when taking fatal damage, preventing death. Each unit can be shielded only once. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These are some powerful things. Reconstruction Beam. Yeah, these are all really strong. The Guardian Shell sounds absolutely brilliant. Like, just give me more infinite stuff. Yes, give me that one. There we go. Fully allocated. Cool. Brilliant. I can travel. Yay, travel! I should probably go to Slain. There is a new place called Revan Scar. It's going to give me something too, I'm sure. It brings me great joy that the purifiers have chosen to join the Daylam. The Daylam. Amon's armies are still a threat. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Well, I feel like I owe it to the other guy to go to Slain. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar oh, it'll happen. Friend. We'll make this work. Ooh, it's it purple. Behold the death fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. Okay. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. Hmm. Okay. This Makes sense. Grows less appealing by the moment. Oh, you haven't seen the tradition thing yet, though. Just you wait. There's a dance, and then there's cake. And probably tea. I wish to know more about this Rakshir. Your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Tell us. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. Ooh. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. This is quite the intricate culture they have. I remember in the first game, in Wings of Liberty, that the Talarim were just kind of like standard zealous, no pun intended, Protoss fanatics that just didn't want your grubby Terran hands on some sort of gas or some shit. I forget. And since then, they seem to have developed quite this intricate and very unique culture that Artanis knows nothing about. 
Sounds a bit like a retcon. Hmm. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Cool. So there are Terrans in this fight still. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. These characters' motivations are weird. It just feels like Amon wanting this is just a reason for us to get this guy whose name I keep forgetting on our side and then we can do stuff and then we can have our own um, evil guy like that one Rastafari dude in the first game or something. I, it just feels like a contrivance, the whole Talarim role in this whole thing. Carex. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kali design. <gasps> Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Mm. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. No, no, would explain a great no, deal. stop retconning. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. I should, don't give the Taldarim backstory now. You could just, you could just have made up another faction instead. Ah, oh, this is disappointing. It's just like sloppy writing, as we've known to or learned to expect from from the franchise a little bit. Um, it just upsets me. I mean, there's just so much retconning and so much stuff like we haven't noticed. I mean, there there was this one a aesthetic that was established. It was supposed to feel and look and read a certain way, and now it just doesn't anymore for no reason whatsoever. I don't understand this desire to always add nuance and depth and granularity to stuff all the time and just complicate everything. Preparations must be completed as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. The decrees of old. Okay. This faction has undergone a lot of change in a very short time since we first saw them. They've apparently been part of Protoss legend for the longest time, but in Wings of Liberty there was no hint of this. They had a completely different color scheme. Amon was not mentioned. Bad writing. Bad. These are Malash's guardians. Sure, I can do that. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange form? It's an important feature of the level. Terezine. Terezine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. Oh. Like with the they zombies. They possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base. Ruthlessly. Well, that's cool. I prefer it that way. You promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Right. Let's do this. Okay. Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Guardian shell. It's active. Show tips. Uh, right. Yeah. We can buy void rays. Now be warped in at our Stargate. 
They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Hey. Well done, Faye Smith. We will make good use of them. I'm a big fan of intercepting. Fog arrives in okay, not many seconds. I do think this warrior awakens. Dark shrine, because why wouldn't I? And we have void rays and yep, fog time. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Alright, come at me, bro. Oof. Oh, it's like the old school void ray. I don't have to manually do anything. Oh yeah, I need to see about getting some uh, Templar so I can use Psy Storm that actually gives me shields back. I still f think that's extremely funny. I haven't really gotten my head around how broken it is because it's just still too funny. Yes, Cybernetics Core. I'm actually going to need the air upgrades for once. Oh, the barrier. Okay. Ow. Oh, that shield thing is just brilliant. TT, fog subsides, and. Well, not nearly quickly enough, in my humble opinion. Okay, stuff's dead. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good for now. Yeah, fuck some sides. Retribution awaits. The guardians stand watch over the shrine. Okay. Kill them. Slowly. See about killing guardians. And painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Sure, let's do that. Optional objectives? Anyone? Are there any? Must be. Phoenix, do the thing. Gas. Ships in this region. Yes. They are carrying shipments of Where are they? I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. And let's get this one, and let's get another void ray. I think I'm going to need more probes, yes, but also. I think I may also need more gateways. So. Oh boy. I hope I can get around to killing that thing. Nope. Okay. This might actually be a very difficult mission. 
I think I'm just gonna get a critical mass of everything and then just aim move out whenever I actually can. Oh boy. Oh, the DTs can actually go around and pick stuff up. That's not bad. And then go back, and in the meantime I'm gonna macro. Yes, the fog is coming soon. The fog gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. You have not enough minerals. Prismatic I may have to use Phoenix for the defense, to be honest. You must place that in a power field. Oh boy. They're really coming from everywhere. Okay, so they're not nearly as tough as they look, but still though, Jesus. Is, yeah, he kind of has that flank. We're okay. Oh, thank fuck for the uh, completely Imba super sentries. Oh, they're even healing each other. That's so great. get that mothership is the question. Hopefully we can, because I'm getting bored of just sitting around, so... What does that mean? Ships are heading towards our nexus, High Rock. No. Bring them down. Bye, stupid thing. Oh, I can expand here, I think. Not without my Phoenix.
some more probes because I have a feeling we'll be expanding soon because, well, there's a place to expand too, which is good. I need to get one of those motherships. Kill the mothership. Yes. Guardian shield. Oh boy. This is doing a lot of damage. I hope I can take it. Download. Excellent. Only one remains. Phoenix, not just yet. Ah, uh, could be very useful. Approach the void. Ready your warriors. Yes, I have cannon fodder now. Uh, not in time. Phoenix, save me. Huh. I hope this thing can kind of take care of itself because I don't really have a lot of yeah I mean what else can I do right yeah four pounds clearly going down that's gonna happen maybe I should get a robotics facility but I don't know both robo and void rays it's maybe a bit excessive Oh boy. This is a unit composition you're happy you don't have to see too often. Oh, really? Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I have a Nexus Cannon on that thing, but I'm not sure it's strong enough to actually defend everything. Maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, I feel like we need to start making some progress because uh, this is taking a while. Which one, though? You must construct additional pilots. Really? I serve the firstborn. Our fate lies with our homeland. Have you come to bear witness to the end? This shall not be our 
end, but a new beginning. Oh, good thing they seem to be going for my army for some reason. Not clear why, but okay. Cool, where to next? Tolerary Mothership is up there. Maybe if I go this way first, I go north first, and then I make a left turn. Ah, this could work. Uh. Oh, here they come, finally. Took your sweet time, huh? I think I saw a carrier before. I don't know. Do you sense it? Karazim? A shame you'll have no time to enjoy it with Amon's forces coming after. What's there to enjoy though? Does it make you high or something? They're gonna get my Nexus. Oh, this is so sad. Because of course they are. It's okay, I can buy another one. There's no end to how many Nexus I want can buy. Oh boy, I can lose a lot of workers to this if I'm unlucky. with the pylons. Okay, let's make some progress. Forward pylon. Hear that? Another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. 
Now we need the mothership thing. If he's so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. Yes, so would I. He sounds mean. We serve the will of the High Lord. Kill stuff. Oh boy. Lots of them. This has to go down. Yes, get him. That hurt. Pew! Yes. You must construct additional Okay. I feel like I'm approaching that critical mass of units where it doesn't really matter what they throw at me anymore. Do you sense it? It's almost fog time. Probably nothing. It's funny how this Solarite stuff becomes relevant only now in this campaign and only to the Protoss. No chance they could ever actually use the same resources between the races, even though in the rest of the game they definitely do. I guess they all had their own like special resource or whatever you call it. Okay, I hope I have enough defenses now and maybe a bit late to come back. Phoenix, help. Yeah, this feels okay. This base, I mean. Pretty well surrounded in stuff. We'll see if it's enough, though. Oh boy. Yeah, they can do a fair bit of damage if and when they feel like it. Strike him a jig. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I should actually remember to put some of those down. God, there's so much stuff, even more so than the in the multiplayer, and I have so many options available to me that could just completely wreck face that I just forget to use them. But I think after this round we're gonna have enough of Static V and definitely enough pylons.
Okay, here we go. Ninety over two hundred. Yeah, I think I should be okay. See if we can uh, do everything in one go now. Just clear everything around here. Oh, again with another one of these fleet attacks. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Of course they have. Oh yeah, he'll definitely double cross me. I have no doubt in my mind about that one. Yes, foreshadowing betrayal. Prisms. Okay, let's see about another one of those forward pylons or not. The fog gathers our tennis. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. I'm not. Well, I will soon enough. I'll be back. Phoenix. He's definitely a, an excellent meat shield, if nothing else. Nothing really gets through him without, I don't know, taking a lot of damage and having to spend a lot of time on him. Zombie apocalypse. Let's see, and send more stuff over there. Oh. We'll see if this can hold its own. I mean, I do have a lot of... Yeah, we'll see. I do have my orbital strike. Yes. Yeah, I should be okay by now. Perfectly fine. The static D and everything. Working out brilliantly. And that's the supply limit. At least so it says, yep. 200 over 200. Ah, oh, really? Siege tanks. Betting there's some sort of achievement for um, actually taking out one of these guardians. Oh my. 
uh, without waiting for the fog to disappear. Forward pile on here, and I think that about does it. Void rays and all the DTs and dragoons and sentries that heal stuff and the barrier passive and my oh my. Sure, wouldn't you? Dick move, bro. I just spent a lot of time on that. My lord, hear me. I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. Oh boy. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. It's exciting. I wonder who's gonna win. I wonder if I'm gonna be involved somehow. Steps are right, right? Kill one of the militias, got you while the Terrazine fog is active in the Steps of Right mission. There you go. There it is. Rise and shine. Before the fourth... Oh, okay. That is quick. Okay. Cutscene. Oh, that sounds useful. You are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. Them's fighting words. There are new personnel awaiting your review in War Council I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight him. I think I might have to. Okay. This will do it for this episode of Game Designer Plays Legacy of the Void. I don't actually know how many missions are left, but um, I think it's safe to say we're at least halfway through the game. So uh, thanks for watching and see you again soon, probably tomorrow. Bye.